Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rinketsu Zero, and this is not Victoria. Don't worry, she's she's not going anywhere. I'm just deciding to start doing my gameplay videos the same way that I actually play the game, which is to alternate between characters. Um, I like to do this because it kind of breaks the the monotony a little bit. You know, I hate picking up items and being like, oh, I don't have the proper character for this, or see a really cool spell and I'm like man I wish I could use this but that's not the right character so uh, by alternating characters I get to experience kind of a variety of playstyles and in, uh, in a relatively short time so today or tonight I'm gonna be starting with my assassin playthrough and I am very excited for this I love assassins this guy's gonna be uh, an assassin mage his name is Zafar Nassar if you want, you can look up the origin of that name. I, I like it quite a bit. Um, and he's a red guard, as you can see. I've already done most of his facial features. Fun fact, this guy is modeled to be as close to my own appearance as possible uh, with the Skyrim engine. With the exception of the war paint and the braids, because I cut my hair. Um... So instead of going through character creation, I'm just going to click done. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to just go straight into Skyrim this time. No need for a separate video. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to make him a vampire. I think the vampire's, uh, abilities and, uh, assassins kind of merge pretty good. And I'm going to be doing this a little more candid. I don't have anything actually planned uh, for you guys ahead of time. So I'm just going to be playing the game almost normally. So I start out in a vampire lair. I've actually been here before. Something I can do for you. And these guys are not hostile. Oh yeah, and... Of course, my beautiful brown eyes are gone. I don't mind that though. Just gonna start picking up some loot, and wow, that is amazing loot to see at level one. That's retarded. Gonna pick these up. Actually, the food might not be so useful. One of the things about uh, this vampire playthrough is that uh, to keep it as lore friendly as possible, I'm going to not be consuming food. I actually think there's a setting on here where I can uh, I can make it such that I don't benefit from food at all, and that's uh, I think I'm using it. But regardless, even if I'm not using it, I'm not going to be consuming food. Oh wow, and that's incredible loot too. Increased movement speed. Some nice good vigilant stuff. Might as well take a torch. Oh yeah, no, I won't be needing a torch. I've got night vision. I think there's another chest around here somewhere. Here it is. Got to be a little careful because I don't have a lot of lot picks. I think I've only got three left. Oh, so close.
Alright, good. Gold is always nice. It's a coin press over here. So let's see, what do we have as far as armor? Barbarian armor, a light shield for shoes. I'm going to be doing light armor on this playthrough. And man, I don't know what I want more between this circlet or the novice hood. <laughs> Movement speed is so good on this game. Wow, he's so fast. Oh, you know what though? I can... I don't have any allegiance to these guys, so I can just assassinate them. What do you need, handsome? Take their gear. That stuff's actually pretty good. Uh, I was hoping I could get a dagger. Oh well. I think the vampire armor is a little bit better than what I have. Yeah, it is. Oh, I didn't check the time. It might be daytime. If it's daytime, I'm gonna go back inside and wait because... Uh, vampires are pretty weak at night. I mean, wrong. Pretty weak at daytime. Pretty strong at night. So before I forget, I want to make sure I show off everything that's unique about this character first. Before I start leveling up. Um, I'm using... Uh, better vampires which changes a lot of uh, the vampire options to be pretty profitable it looks like it's close enough to nighttime well wow, I'm gonna be mad if I die to a mud crab 758 okay it's, it's basically nighttime so I'm not going to be taking any debuffs. Um, so yeah, before I proceed, I want to show a couple of the things that I've got so far without any perks yet. Um, and the first is the Red Guard abilities. Red Guards in Skyrim Redone uh, have two abilities. Their passive is uh, having an additional 50 stamina from the start of the game. So that's uh is really good because I don't uh I don't have to put per or put points in the stamina early. I can basically rush health and magicka. Which is what's gonna be a little more important for this uh for this character. Um and then the other thing that they have is really, really good. I love this ability. And I think it's really well suited to an assassin character slows down time for 15 seconds I move a little bit faster and it's usable every two minutes um, I'm gonna just use it so you can see exactly how how much of a slowdown this is this is what it looks like I think it's really uh really good for assass for an assassin type of character because my idea of an assassin is somebody that's uh they they usually have a, a lot of precision so you know being able to use an ability like that is is really lore friendly for me kind of giving me the the sense of uh you know having a lot of precision all of a sudden it'll help you maybe escape some uh some key attacks or you know, because it also counts as a as a speed boost for you, you can get you can increase your uh, DPS or damage per second by a little bit too. Um, 
So yeah, and then the precision is just really, really good, especially like if you need to aim a spell or something, just to make sure it doesn't miss. Uh, and then the other thing are the vampire abilities. We've got Deflect, Light, and Shadow. This is like um, the older Elder Scrolls Chameleon. Like you're invisible, but you can still interact with the world without losing your invisibility. Um, I think most of these can only be used once uh, every time that you feed. So you have to feed to restore these abilities. Um, and there's domination. You can you can basically uh, control a person for a little while. It's it's like the equivalent of charm. Um, this scales with your vampire level. Fears embrace. This allows you to paralyze somebody and feed on them for a short time. Night vision. This is actually pretty cool. Um, just to show it, you've got the regular night vision here which you can activate with just the shout button and then you've got another night vision that you activate while sneaking it's got a red uh, a red tint to it and it allows you to see a potential feeding target so basically everybody that's humanoid um, excluding like undead creatures so you won't be able to see other vampires because they're not really human um, then we've got this. Uh, you can turn any feeding victim into a into an ally. It's pretty cool. Reveal auras. Uh, this does exactly as it says. It just reveals basically everything. Honestly, I think this is kind of OP, so I don't use it that much. But it's whatever. Um, this is a, a calm spell. Can calm somebody for 10 seconds. Uh, you've got a reanimate spell for 10 minutes. Vampiric Mind Blast is, uh, I think this is considered a frost spell. Um, it paralyzes everybody around you and it. Oh no, it doesn't do any damage. But yeah, that, that's what it does. Then some passive abilities. Uh, I get slightly increased unarmed damage, uh, my regular attacks do more damage, my health and stamina are increased, my regen rate are increased, and I move 25% uh, faster. I get better uh, persuasion and, and barter. Um, the normal disease resistance and poison resistance. I'm 100% resistant to frost. I think that might be nighttime only. I don't know. Um, and then illusion spells cast by me are 10% more powerful. And I think that's a typo. That's supposed to say my sneak is 10% more effective or something like that. And of course, I'm weak, I'm weak to fire as well. And actually, that's kind of annoying. Let me just uh, turn that configuration stuff off. No, that's not what I meant. Immersive hut. I don't want stealth. I don't want enemy health. Um, anything else? I do want to hide the shout meter with the compass. And then I'll take this down to like 70. Alright. Um, so first things first, I want to get this guy in the Dark Brotherhood. Which requires me to go to Windhelm. Which luckily is very close. Sometimes these uh, playthroughs can be a little... Like the game starts can be a little difficult because they start you out in these remote locations and you actually have to travel around at level 1. And traveling around at level 1 is not the easiest thing in this game in particular with all the gameplay changes I put, put on it. 
sometimes they start you out with like zero armor like you don't have any armor to choose from and you have to make it to a city with no armor and let me just tell you walking around level one with no armor is like guaranteed death like I don't even know what that is it looks like maybe a war zone and I'm definitely not gonna get involved I might see if maybe they kill each other though I don't know it looks like just one person I might be able to win I'm gonna quick save just in case though because I really mean it you're so weak at level one Oh, okay, he's an Imperial. Free gear! Some of that might be better than what I've got on. Finally a dagger. I think the rest of that's pretty bad. Imperial arm is probably going to be the best thing at this point in time. Ah, oh, that's really good. Like I said, prices are crazy in this game. So any any time you can get increased uh increased barter, it's incredible. And God, this guy's so fast. Yeah, sometimes you, you actually do get killed by a pack of wolves in this game. It's so funny. Can never be too cautious. Luckily, it's nighttime. If it were daytime, this would be a whole another story. It's funny how weak you are at level 1 as a vampire in the daytime. Where am I at? I think, yeah, I'm going the wrong way now. Gotta start toggling my compass here and there. That sounds like, ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> good thing I'm immune to frost. This is going to be funny. Okay. I am not immune to attack damage though, which is what I just got hit with. For now, I'm going to use healing. Because otherwise I might die. And I actually think I'm just going to run. I don't think he can catch me with as fast as I am. Oh, right. Okay, so I did uh, disable that. Healing is disabled right now. There's a, um, there's actually a console command that I can use to re-enable it specifically for healing because they're kind of bundled it uh it turns off it basically turns off uh potions um healing like restoration spells and uh what's the other thing oh and food all at once so I've got to enable specifically uh, restoration so that I can at least use the healing spells. Just make sure I'm going the right way. Yep. Also, another thing, when it's daytime, I keep saying that I'm really weak during the day. I haven't exactly explained that. Um, I think it also, 
worse like this in vanilla. Um, your your stamina region and your health region are both uh kind of cut. I knew I heard something. Your stamina region and your health region are cut, but it's really kind of crippling on this game because everything's so well tied to stamina. So like it, it's uh it's just so bad because uh like remember when you when you lose all of your stamina your movement speed drops down. So basically if you're out and you're not underneath a shadow and you're fighting, your stamina goes all the way down and then you're stuck, like literally stuck with uh eighty percent movement speed, fifty percent attack damage. And there's nothing you can do about it until you get, you know, into a shadow, which really sucks. So, um, they really do make it such that you should favor traveling at nighttime as a vampire. Your skin is as pale as the snow. Yes. Sounds like the real me. Oh my god, what is this sunlight thing you speak of? I'm gonna use my level up in just a minute. Man, I hate how long these load screens are. They're, they're so much quicker when I'm not recording. I guess it is really uh, CPU intensive though, so what can I expect? Until I overclock it or get a new one. Well, let's see, local. I don't. Oh no, I do remember where to find this guy. Then it's true what everyone is saying that Aventus Aratino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, Alright, there's the quest, so I just need to break in the house. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm just gonna make sure they leave so I don't get a bounty for picking the lock. What for? That house, they are cursed. Then I'm right, I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. Alright, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. That Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. So like I said, you can see kind of that little glow. It's really faint. So it's not completely broken. Sometimes people can uh, randomly sneak, sneak up on you. You don't realize they're there because the glow is so faint, unless you're really looking for it. I really thought that was going to open that time. Maybe I'm getting colder. Try going back a little bit.
Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about my level up. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child into your fate. Going straight for the health because it, it is so important on this game. Um, I'm going to start out with light armor. And I'm going to be using a uh, illusion. Because illusion is actually pretty cool on here. More on that later. Destruction. Um, and I don't know what I want to do with the last perk just yet. It's never a bad thing to save your perk. Sometimes you don't realize where you might really need it. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. You've come at last. I knew it, it worked. I Sorry, I'm gonna be skipping the dialogue because I really don't care. I'm sure most of you have probably done some of this yourself anyway. It took so long. So very long. My mother, she the headmistress is an evil. So I ran away and came home. I performed the black sacrament. Now you're here. And you could kill well of the kind. Okay. Broad is the head That's actually the heart both heart. of those are pretty rare alchemy ingredients. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you packing some kind of teleport spell over there? Alright, so... Oh yeah, it's Sam Riften. Ah, uh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go to the stables now. I might end up spending most of this playthrough just getting into the guilds that I want to be in. I definitely want to be in the Dark Brotherhood. And I want to be in the College of Winter Hall. That The College of Winter Hall wouldn't be half as bad if it wasn't for that ridiculously long tour you have to take with uh, Maribel. Those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Rift uh climbing back and we'll be off. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Black Briar meeting. You mug to that and you'll forget all Oh yeah, I've got a um a Dart Brotherhood armor texture replacer. It's actually pretty cool. It doesn't look uh it doesn't look like completely out of the game either. It looks like something that is still kind of handcrafted almost. But it definitely looks a lot better than that uh the default armor. That that armor looks so bad. But I can't wait to get to the college. They have a. Uh... Am I taking health damage? I hope not. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Or the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right. Obviously. Want everyone to hear you? Yeah, I do actually. 
Just let me unlock the gate. The gate's unlocked. You can head Take inside my when you're ready. Don't listen to that talk of the fate. So alchemy is uh, disabled. I'm not going to enable it either. Um, the game, since I'm using Dawnguard, they include uh, the blood potions. And those heal you. They heal your health, magicka, and stamina. So they're pretty good. I just have to make sure I keep them uh, in stock. At the beginning of the game, that's going to be kind of hard. But after I join uh, the vampires at uh Volkehar or Volkehar it'll be pretty easy I don't know you you and Riften looking for trouble thieves guild was made in black but um the other potions are going to be uh don't say so pretty useless regret. last thing the black briars need is some the black briars have me I'm Maul I watch the streets for him if you need to suit yourself I'll be at the docks at hey you get over here I'm really getting tired of your excuses when you, <laughs> you pay it back on time and for yes, sir, I'll do it. <laughs> I know I do. But how was I to know the chickens would get lost? Oh yeah, and the other thing, um Remember I said that uh your your regen is, is gonna be lower during the daytime. It is the daytime and I'm still regenerating stamina. So what they do here is they actually account for the weather. Um, when they do this. So, as you can see, it's really cloudy. There's no sunlight, so that's why I'm still regenerating my stamina, um, as if it were nighttime. It's pretty cool. Man, I really hate this woman. I don't even like listening to her little monologue. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. You are not. But I think I have to. Yes, yes Will Sprout. So that she can go sleep and I can kill her. Adoptions. None of you weak bastards getting adopted ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We love, we love you, darling. Thank, Thank you for your time and your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. I'm gonna quick save just in case something goes wrong. I don't want to listen to that again. And my night vision might be pretty useful here. Okay, it looks like she's in the other room. I need my best dagger. Hunting knife. shouldn't be here. I know. I didn't do it. Leave here. Leave us alone. I wonder if I got a bounty for that. I think I remember my brother doing it, and he didn't get a bounty at all. Let's see. Okay, sweet. Yeah, even though they were so startled, they all wanted her dead anyway, so I guess that's why they don't report you. Alright, so... Oh yeah, go back to Arantino. Accept my payment, and then I have to, uh... 
And I have to go to sleep. <sighs> Can't wait till I get my powers. Level one is so, so hard. I'm level two now, though. Still pretty hard. Still pretty boring because I can't do a whole lot without at least a couple of spells, and I can't really access the spells until I get into the college. But there's some really, really cool illusion spells. That, uh, that I think are really lore friendly, as well as not being overpowered, not being underpowered. They're, they're just right. There's actually one that's pretty overpowered though. I had to stop using it in my last playthrough. Creates like a, um, a duplicate of... Well, not a duplicate. It creates a, a phantom. And... It's actually not that bad, except all of the enemies pay attention to it. And then when you get the perks for it, it gets a lot more health so that it lives longer. And uh, it also splits into two different images when it gets killed with one of, the, one of the perks. So like normally I think by default it's not broken, but when you get the perks it becomes really broken because as soon as you cast it, like you can just kind of sneak attack well, everybody. We're all the kind. Is she you know? Yes. Uh -huh. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew that I here, just like I promised. Just Give me your stupid plate. Oh, thank you. Thank you again. It wasn't worth the deed anyway. I'll go back to the orphanage in a while. I'll give some time to eat. Ah, nice frost sauce. Lavender. Pretty soon I'm gonna need to feed so that I don't take health damage. Because after level 1 I'm gonna start taking uh, health damage in the sun. After uh, vampirism level 1. Oh yeah, so I just had to sleep somewhere. I guess the end is fine. This one's a favorite of mine. A legend we all know and love. This here's Candleheart Hall. Great rooms up. Sure thing. Secure for a day. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I don't know why I even opened that up. I can't eat food. Show you to your room. Right this way. Is there anybody isolated? I don't know. I might be able to feed on this guy. If it's a mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword arm for hire in all Skyrim. No, that's not gonna be easy getting behind him though. Every night, I walk around the Great Quarter and let them gray skins know that the kingdom comes. Them gray skins. Whatever. If I end up taking health damage, I can just go back inside and wait until it's nighttime to travel. Oh really? I thought... Did I do something wrong? Or maybe I was supposed to wait even longer. Maybe she only comes at night time. Maybe not. Oh, 
Oh, did I lose that? Because of... Oh, no, okay. I need somebody to feed on before I can go outside. Looks like maybe... Yeah, perfect. Which one of these was... Yeah, this one. Ah, that sucks. There's no... No door I can close. She can clearly see me. Man, I need you to move, sir. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age come on, of go somewhere. is now nearly done. Oh, okay, of course you would leave when she leaves. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives, and in seven dark decades, every And of course, you two are together, so I can't... You know what? I'm just gonna wait till nighttime. And leave then. I'm not sure why I'm not getting, uh... Invited to the Dark Brotherhood. I did the quest. If I remember correctly, all I had to do was just, uh, sleep. Ah, oh, I was just about to say, she is alone. Walk around the Grey Quarter and let them greyskins know what I think of them. If you've got some time, stop by my house and curiosity. I promise you'll see wonder. Yeah, whatever. I'll just go do the uh, the Winter Hulk quest for now. Yeah, that's where I was supposed to go. And I really need to hurry up and find somebody to feed on before I die in the sunlight. Because <sighs> I know I'll be able to take a carriage to get there, but then when I get there, it'll be daytime. And that will suck. I'm hoping I can feed on one of the, uh, one of the horse keepers or something. They usually aren't too clustered up. Man, these loading screens are ridiculous. Okay, perfect. Or not so perfect. Would have been fine if you stayed over there. Ah, maybe I can feed on one of these guards. How do I get up there? Oh, nice. I've never actually been down here before. Okay, I 
gotta figure out how to get up there so I can feed on a guard. There we go. Been a murder for Brindriston. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Quick save. Snake. Oh, dog on it. Cause I didn't sneak up on her. I had to be a little bit closer. I think. Best again. This vampire stuff is not easy. There we go. Last mistake. Alright, we're good. Twenty first to win the Nord's respect is through hard work. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Uh Winterhope. Climb and back and we'll be off. Little snow will never stop me. Don't worry. So I'm probably just going to enter the college and see if I can get a couple of my favorite spells. And I'll probably put an end to the video then. Especially looking forward to uh, Blur. Blur is really cool. I'll have to, have to show it to you when I get it. It's kind of an armor spell, but in the illusion tree. One of the things that really frustrated me about the other... Uh, magic schools is that they they didn't really have any direct damage effects outside of destruction um, but there are quite a few and there's even a few that are a little more lore friendly um, that are also really good in the illusion tree and you'd have me do what so if only burglars and vampires creep around after dark so which are you i'm a vampire thank you Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because this is the College of Winterhold. A safe haven for me. Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I desire to bend the will of those around me. Yes. The school of illusion can be quite influential. It's funny, all of these sound so ambitious. Power because of it, and empires have been raised with it. It would seem that the college has what not just anyone is a Like I would sense. expect that the college so wants you to, to contribute to it. Can no, I do this? I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Uh, yeah, it's just funny. They they say, "Uh, what do you expect to find here?" And you're like, "I want all this power." No, like, okay. Casting one at the You're in. on the ground here would be sufficient. No, I don't well, think I think know that spell. Of it, then I'd be ha or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. All I have to do to prove that I'm worthy is cast a spell. So silly. Much knowledge. Oops. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow.
follow me. Oh yeah, um, you probably noticed by now those clothes that she's wearing are not standard. Um, I've got a clothing texture replacer and it makes all of the mages robes look really cool. I think what she's wearing are the master robes. Winter holds glory days may lie behind it, but the you can't see it too well because I've got this, this red tent. And even if I took it off, it's probably really dark. Might as well high key this stuff now. What else do I use? Sandstorm. It's a pretty good frost spell. I thought I selected it. Yeah, you can't really see anything. Whatever. Let's talk to Maribel. What you learned I believe here, I've made that. myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You Man, I hate this guy. Whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Falnor receives no such treatment here. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Welcome to the another new Give me my robes. I'll give you a brief give me my tour. You to your first class. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. I kind of just want to wander off. I only came for the spells. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. And, the and I think what she's wearing are the adept robes. The Archmage's responsibility. They look pretty cool. I have to show you. Uh, in the daytime. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't I'll just be picking room. snowberries while I wait for you to finish. Hey, what's up? Here, are you not? We have not spoken. Then allow me to. I you should know I'm a vampire. I am quite content. There's no way you're the Archmage, and you can't immediately Only tell I'm a vampire. Not often, no. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Whatever. We go follow her. How much money do I even have? Oh god, I can't afford anything. Now I'll show you to <laughs> You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices. I'm not you even gonna be sure. able to buy spells now that I'm here. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate. I'll this. take all the now, alchemy ingredients. Let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Nice. What the heck are you doing in here? I never see him in here. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards.
so slow. Ah. Talk dear is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Okay. All right. Um. I'm gonna go sleep and see if I can't get that Dark Brotherhood quest to pop up now. Alright, there it is. It just took a little bit of time for... I guess maybe it took some time for the news to reach her. And there it is, the Dark Brotherhood Armor Sweet Replacer. Man. Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? I don't know if I'm so warm. Half of Skyrim you know, lives. vampires, cold-blooded. in her own orphanage? Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not... But there is a slight... Mm, problem. Problem. You see, that little Eret Grelod the kind, a kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should... If you turn around, you'll... You see, there's a... Con Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe. And admire. See. Well... Get to it then. Man, this ain't no problem for me. And send the poor fool to the void. First thing I did when I popped up in Skyrim was kill two comrades. From Detroit. Where did you get me? It's clearly we got up on your own foot. I don't even care. Oh god, please, let me live. I don't think these guys even have anything on them. Oh! Ha! <laughs> nice! Randomly had on scale. Alright, well. Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong. Of course. All right, let me uh. In the south, when give me the map marker. I'll see you at home. So I got some scale for free. That was probably a really bad Detroit joke, though. Don't worry, we don't do that here. Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Um, in the next one, I should have a few spells and a few more abilities. I might be around level 5, maybe level 8, 10, or something like that. And hopefully, I'll have a little bit more excitement for you, because, like I said, I'm a combat guy. I love fighting. And that was pretty boring to me, but it's whatever. So, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.